One of the fastest growing suburbs in Sydney's west is about to become even bigger. Nine News can reveal plans for a major CBD hub that's set to change the face of Middleton Grange. It's a bare paddock now, but this will soon be the newest town centre in Sydney's west. We have an amazing situation where the town centre will have almost from A to Z in the, in the simplest forms, the essentials of family needs. The Manta Group seeking expressions of interest to develop this 20 acre site at Middleton Grange, just off the M7. It'll be transformed into a bustling retail precinct. There'll be restaurants, a medical centre, sporting fields, parks and a thousand new apartments. We're probably looking at somewhere upwards of 400 million in total development value. Thousands of residents have already moved into the suburb, including Azela Kasny. Plenty of new homes are still under construction, but right now there's no town centre. The closest shops and facilities are a drive away. You don't really notice the struggle until you have a baby and you want to find somewhere closer. So it would be nice to have something even in walking distance just to you know pop down to the shops and get something. There are already two schools in the suburb which used to be called South Hoxton Park. Its new name is after Roden Middleton, the first fighter pilot to receive the Victoria Cross during World War II. In three years there will be 10,000 people living here in Middleton Grange. It's hoped that construction on this new town centre will begin in the next 18 months. I think that once they start seeing the plan shown to the public and seeing tractors on here, uh, I think everyone's going to be so excited about it. It's likely we'll see more of these new town centre developments being built as Sydney's population expands and new housing developments are pushed further from existing suburbs. Laura Tunstall, Nine News. A new look timetable for CBD bus commuters has been released one month before all services along George Street come to an end. From October the 4th, George Street will become a bus-free zone as construction ramps up on the city's new light rail line. Passengers are being urged to check the updated schedule with significant changes expected to impact all CBD routes.